Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Amanda Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm reviewing the follow-up to Britney Spears' ninth fragrance, and this is Britney Spears' Cosmic Radiance. So this fragrance was announced that it was going to be released in 2011, and was kind of sold, told to be a re-release of the fragrance Radiance, but basically it was made with different notes and... It has a similar aspect to the original Radiance, but it's still a different fragrance on its own. So, completely different box this time. I, by that I mean, it's still that same shape of the original Radiance box, where they're the both long, rectangular boxes. But this time, in this kind of circle, it says Cosmic Radiance Britney Spears, and they're kind of got these gems swirling around the box, and it kind of goes off to each, either side, like this. And the color scheme for this one, obviously this time is pink, white, and black. Um, on the back this time we have the ad for Cosmic Radiance, which we didn't have an ad on the back of the original Radiance, but I feel like this, if I might be wrong on this, and if I am, feel free to correct me, because I know you guys will, but I feel like this is the first time we've seen this ad on a Britney fragrance, but this fragrance, or this ad, has been used multiple, multiple times. This was used for Fantasy Twist on the back of the Fantasy Twist bottle. It was used for Island Fantasy. They just cropped out this kind of like lower part and made it look like she was wearing a bikini for the Cosmic, or for the Radiance, or for the Island Fantasy. I cannot talk today. Um, I just know that this ad has been used multiple, multiple times by Miss Britney Spears. So, definitely a different back this time, or a different ad or whatever. So the bottle this time is got this black cap and it's got that same gem pattern as the original Radiance. It's just black and white this time. The only pink that we get is on the lid on the sprayer. But I feel like we should, I wish we would have gotten a little bit, maybe some of these little other little gems could have been pink or we could have got black, white, and pink on the front. But I still like this bottle. It's definitely got this uh, different look to it, but it's also really kind of art deco and pretty. So on the side this time it says Cosmic Radiance. I don't know if I got that out there or not. So, but this, like I said, does have different notes from the original. And I have the 1.7 and the 1 ounce of this. So you can kind of see how they are just, you know, how they cut off the top of this bottle to make the 1.7. So the top notes for this one are Mandarin, Lychee, and Pear. Middle notes are Jasmine, Gardenia, and Tuberose, and Peony, with base notes of Amber, Sandalwood, Vanilla, and Musk. So, I will say, right off the bat, I do like this one more than I like the original Radiance, but people do say that they smell exactly the same, and they do not smell exactly the same. There is a difference. So when you first spray this one, Definitely, I get that mandarin, the pear, the lychee, mm, kind of. I can see it in there, but it's not super powerful as much as I feel like the lychee, or the pear and the mandarin kind of blend together. Almost make like a pear, pear, pear I don't know, I just tried to make up a fruit that wasn't really a thing, so you know, I do what I do. But it goes down to the heart. The tuberose isn't as powerful this time. It's definitely kind of on a subtle side. I feel like the, the jasmine and the gardenia overtake the peony. They still let the Peony be part of the group, but, you know, with Radiance, we had Peony as, or not Peony, Tuberose as the lead singer of the band. This time, when they released Cosmic Radiance, this was a new album. We aren't going to let Tuberose be the lead singer of our band this time. Jasmine and Gardenia are taking turns to be the lead singer of this fragrance. Um, as you get down to the bass, you get the vanilla, the sandalwood, the amber, and the musk. I feel like the vanilla obviously is very, very powerful in this fragrance. I said it in my last review for Radiance that I could smell some vanilla in there, even though it wasn't listed as a note. But it is listed as a note this time, and it's definitely this kind of vanilla floral scent. Uh, definitely has a different aspect than Radiance. I have smelled these two right next to each other, and I can definitely tell the difference. I personally feel like if somebody were to be walking by me wearing Radiance or Cosmic Radiance, I could tell the difference. Some people say that there's no difference. To me, there is. The amber isn't as noticeable this time in the fragrance as it was last time. I definitely feel like the sandalwood and the vanilla are the two most prominent of the base notes. 
But this time the musk isn't as the musk and the amber aren't as out there as they were the last time. Um, I will say with the same with radiance, there's nothing really stand out about these fragrances. They're very light, easy, airy going fragrances. They're perfect for just kind of spritzing on. I feel like you could throw this in your purse, um, and it would do well as just kind of like a take on. Um, to carry you around perfume to spritz on throughout the day. I get about six hours of lasting power out of this. Um, for Radiance, I did have the little travel sprayer, but I have never actually used one of these outside of their um, cases because I'm afraid of the bust. Um, I have like the pins for other fragrances, and I would never use these just because I feel like the glass is so thin that they could shatter. Also, the same reason why I don't ever really use roller balls. So, but. I, like I said, I do like this one a lot better. This one, I feel like with Radiance, Radiance was more of like a springtime perfume. And I feel like with the citruses and the whatnot in Cosmic Radiance, that this one's a little bit more of a uh, summertime fragrance. But they're both kind of a daytime fragrance. With comparing them right next to each other, you would almost think that this would be the nighttime version and this would be the daytime version. Which you could almost pull that off, but they're so they're they're different from each other, but they're similar enough that this couldn't be the nighttime version of it. Um, it does have a little bit more to it, and I feel like the vanilla could make it the nighttime version, but it's still a very airy, and it's not that it doesn't have that deep richness that a nighttime fragrance almost has to have. So. There's that. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. That was my review of Britney Spears' Cosmic Radiance. If you guys have any requests for future videos, please go ahead and ask them below. I will be doing a lot better at getting videos up and reviewing them. So, thanks so, so much for watching, guys, and follow me on Twitter, A, that's Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.